JLG Industries presents How to Use the Remote Control Station on the Compact Crawler. This video is to be used as a supplement to your machine's operation and safety manual. Use the remote control station to operate the ground and aerial functions. After turning on the machine, the remote will go through a pre-operational check. If the battery disconnect switch was turned off, this check may take a few extra moments to complete. Wait until the appropriate display icons load before operating. On the remote control are icons that indicate various functions. The outrigger automatic buttons allow you to retract or extend all four outriggers at once. The outrigger manual button allows you to select which outrigger to retract and extend, operating one outrigger at a time. The track width adjust buttons allow you to widen or narrow the tracks. To save wear on the tracks, only use this function when the outriggers are set or when the machine is traveling. Although they will adjust while the machine is stationary and its weight is on the tracks, it is not recommended. This feature is only available on the X550AJ and the X700AJ. The emergency lowering button allows you to lower the boom if the engine power is not working. The speed selector button allows you to adjust the machine's engine speed. The service button allows you to access the service menu. To sound the horn, press buttons 5 and 6 simultaneously. If the service mode appears after sounding, press button 9 to escape. The preheat engine button allows you to preheat the engine during cold weather. It is either a glow plug for diesel engines or a choke for the X390AJ. The engine starter buttons allow you to start or stop the desired power source. The platform level override key switch allows you to manually adjust the platform level position. On the left side of the remote is an LCD display with eight display positions. Each position indicates machine status during various stages of operation. The reduced operating area icon indicates the outriggers are in the reduced operating mode. The capacity icon indicates how much weight is allowed in the platform, 300 pounds or 136 kilograms when the jib is elevated, and 440 pounds or 200 kilograms when the jib is fully stowed. A load cell on the platform monitors the weight. If you exceed the allowed capacity, the overload icon appears on the LCD display and functions are restricted. The engine icon indicates the selected power source. If there is an X displayed, the engine is off. The speed icon indicates the selected engine speed. Although each model has the same three icons, the setting varies among them. For the X390AJ, the engine speed is set by a manual lever on the engine itself. Changing the speed at the remote only affects the optional two-speed hydraulic motor, not the engine. Turtle and N both mean low hydraulic speed. Rabbit means high hydraulic speed. For the X550AJ, it may have the optional two-speed hydraulic motor. If it does, turtle means low engine and low hydraulic speed. N means high engine and low hydraulic speed. Rabbit means high engine and high hydraulic speed. If there is only one speed, the hydraulic speed will remain on low. For the X700AJ, turtle means low engine and low hydraulic speed. N means high engine and low hydraulic speed. Rabbit means high engine and high hydraulic speed. The outrigger icon indicates the outriggers are properly set and the machine is level. This icon must be present before operating any aerial function. The closed bracket icon indicates the jib is stowed, the telescope is retracted, and the turntable is properly aligned. If this icon is not displayed, the ground functions and outriggers will not operate. The stop icon indicates one of the emergency stop switches is engaged. The battery icon indicates the state of the lithium battery, if equipped. The warning icon 
indicates the emergency lowering mode is active. On the top of the remote control are levers. The two red levers allow you to control the driving and steering of the tracks. Operating them simultaneously in the same direction drives the machine forward or backward in a straight path. Operating them individually or in opposite directions steers the machine. The levers in the middle allow you to control the booms, jib, turntable swing, and platform. The X390AJ does not have platform rotation. Refer to the Operation and Safety Manual for more information on the remote control station. The remote is operated in three positions, in the designated holder in the platform, out of the holder and connected to the platform cable, and out of the holder and connected to the ground cable. When operating in the platform, you have full operation of all controls. All functions are operated from the platform. When operating with the remote control out of the holder and connected to the platform cable, you can only operate the drive, track widening, jib, and outrigger functions. Operating in this position allows you to maintain a safe distance while loading and unloading the machine and while driving on steep grades. Keep a minimum distance of three feet or one meter from the tracks. When operating out of the holder and connected to the ground cable, you can operate all of the functions. You must turn the key switch counterclockwise when connected to the ground cable. This concludes how to remove the platform. Always refer to your machine's operation and safety manual. For more information, call JLG Ground Support at 877-554-5438.